Assalamualaikum and good day. I am Siti Sarah binti Yaakob Zubir. Today, I would like to talk about the future world. Through this video, I would like to share with all of you about TVET and also known as Technical Vocational Education Training in the field of interest. This video is emphasized on what makes TVET an interesting program. Are we going to leave this to our future generation? Does the government cause us all this? Who should be blamed? When should we take action and how can we curb pollution? We are not going to leave this to our future generation. When the pollution is continued for a long period without any solution, the earth will be damaged critically. These are the phenomena that we have experienced. First, global warming. Global warming happens when greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, CFCs, methane, nitrous oxide are blown and trap the earth heat from dispersed into space. The gases allow extreme sunlight to pass through but prevent the release of radiation of the earth back into the atmosphere. The more heat is trapped by a layer of gases, the higher the temperature will increase globally. Global warming affected the climate. It caused the climate change as a result. The temperature of the earth has risen to the 2 degrees and the rate varies according to continents and regions. What are the causes of the global warming? The causes of global warming are first, industrialization. Industrial activities are the main cause of global warming. The use of fossil fuels such as oil, gas and coal to operate machines and heavy equipment have released a lot of greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide. The study found 98% of the cause of global warming is the release of carbon dioxide from burning fossil fuels. Second, electric power generation. The production of electrical energy at the hydroelectric power station, generating electricity by using fossil fuels. It also caused the release of carbon dioxide gas significantly. Most of the countries in the world, including Malaysia, use fossil fuels to generate electricity. Malaysia consumes nearly 80% of electricity generated by fossil fuels burning and 20% via hydroelectric generation. Third, transportation. The use of motor vehicles that use petrol as a fuel to power the engine release a lot of carbon dioxide. Now, Let's see the effects of global warming. The effects of global warming are first, the increase of sea level. Second, marine life is at risk. Third, habitat change. Fourth, weather disturbances. And five, the spreading of disease. Environmental pollution, in addition to global warming, environmental pollution is also a major cause to the environment destruction. Environmental pollution can be divided into three categories. Namely, first, noise pollution. Noise pollution is defined as an excessive noise that hurts the ears. Noise pollution is usually exceed 80 decibel and this is varies according to the situation. Air pollution. Air pollution can be classified into two parts, namely primary and secondary pollution. Primary pollution refers to the pollution produced by sulfur monoxide and carbon monoxide resulted from the incomplete combustion. As the consequence, fine particles are suspended in air. Most of this pollution released through the exhaust of vehicles, industries that release smoke or pollutants and uncontrolled coal burning. Secondary pollution is a reaction of sulfur dioxide, which merge to form the gases that are not needed by living things, 
such as combination of sulfur dioxide, sulfur monoxide, and water vapor will produce sulfuric acid. Next is water pollution. Water pollution is changes in terms of contain, condition, and color which inappropriate and will affect humans when it is used. Contamination occurs either in terms of biology, chemistry, and physics. Pollutant can be found in various of gas, liquid, and solid. Water pollution is not only happening in the river, but also in the sea, the beach, and other watery places. We all felt that green technology is the best solution to solve the environmental destruction issues. Green technology is the application of environmental science to conserve natural resources to address the negative impact of human activities. Green technology has a great potential in maneuvering the country development and providing job opportunities in the process of achieving it. The advantages of green technology practices are First, improve the quality of life and ensure the sustainability of the environment. Second, reduce noise, air and water pollution. Third, recycle of non-degradable products such as plastic, plastic bottles, batteries, electronic chips, computer accessories such as CD, glass, metal, construction waste, electronic waste and tires. Fourth, plant greenery and trees and vacant land. Fifth, maintain the ecological balance of the earth so that all living beings can survive and thrive in their natural habitat. As a result of various environmental issues, the National Green Technology Policy, NGTP, was launched by Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Raza in July 2009. It is emphasized on nurturing the economic growth and sustainable development. Sustainable development must meet the needs of the present society without compromising the needs of future generations. Therefore, Polytechnics has launched the Malaysian Polytechnic Development Plan on 1st April 2015, which incorporates green development in teaching and learning TNL in all polytechnic. As TVET institutions, we realize that drastic measures should be taken. We have organized a number of programs to contribute in this noble cause. There are a number of community service activities that have been carried out and shared with local communities. Malaysia Polytechnic Department Polytechnic Vision is to create a green culture and prepare Polytechnic in producing green collar workers which in line with the goal of transforming the Polytechnic and to develop Malaysia to be a high income and low carbon country by 2020. This is in line with the effort to strengthen and improve the management to achieve the recognition towards sustainable Polytechnic. This is a little a bit background of the Malaysia Polytechnic Polygreen Vision which is to reduce carbon intensity by 40% by 2020 from the level recorded in 2005. The process of development and modernization have resulted in the release of GHG, which is greenhouse gas, and cause damage to the environment. GHG produce is identified largely through the daily activities of humans. In terms of improving knowledge, Civil Engineering Department actively involved in organizing community service program. Through these activities, we have gained exposure in the importance of humanity values and individual concern to either the environment or community. Engineering knowledge occurred can contribute in terms of skills and energy to help conserve and protect the community and environment as well as a creating a good relationship and bonding among the community members. 
Knowledge and skill is shared with the community regarding the awareness of saving the earth. The efforts that have been implemented are community service program at Sekolah Agama Menengah Sungai Selisik Samses Selangor and the Department of Irrigation and Drainage Bagan Datuk Perak JPS. The knowledge and skills have been adapted in the activities through community service program Civil Engineering Department received a number of requests from the local community to provide advice and guidance in the technical matters including expert consultation. The program organized managed to provide an exposure and give an initial idea to the public regarding environment preservation. Minimize the cost of water usage through a water harvesting system, attractive and city landscape which is suitable for like relaxation. Meanwhile, the fabrication of recycled bin from waste materials able to increase the awareness towards the management of solid waste in order to save the earth. As for my last words, it is not too late for us to make changes. Let's keep the earth green. Thank you and see you again.